ByteDance is on a roll. In the recent months, they have released some of the coolest models out there and we have covered them all on the channel as you can see here. Just few days ago, they released this yet another amazing model called as Content V and that is what we are going to install and check out in this video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Content V is an 8 billion parameter text to video generation model that achieves state of the art performance with remarkable computational efficiency. This model was trained in just 4 weeks on 256 neural processing units or NPUs that shows a more accessible approach to video generation that avoids the massive resource requirement of competitors, namely of course NVIDIA. The primary purpose of this model is to address the challenge of escalating training costs and high memory demands in video AI, making advanced video generation research feasible in more resource limited environments. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I am going to use this Ubuntu and my GPU card is NVIDIA H100 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment and if you also want to um, get a GPU on very very cheap prices like this, you don't have to buy it. You can go to the video's description, find the link to Mast Compute with a discount coupon of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. I'm sure you are going to like them. As I am using um, NVIDIA's GPU, so make sure that you have CUDA installed and CUDA's version is, um, you see that I don't have CUDA installed. So CUDA's version should be more than 12.2. So let me show you how you can get it installed. All you need to do is to run this command where we are installing CUDA toolkit, which is 12.4. That's a recent version and it's all done. And you can see that now it is able to show me. Make sure you add it to the path so that it is available. Okay, so now we have CUDA installed. Let's proceed with the next step. The next step is to install FFM pack library, which is a multimedia library. Make sure that it is also the latest one. Shouldn't take too long. And that is also done. Next up, we need to install all the prerequisites, which include torch transformers and all that stuff. Let's run this. And this is going to take four to five minutes while that happens. Let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies. And you will also find their link in video's description. Now, while it installs all those prerequisites, let's talk a bit more about this model and its architecture because it seems quite simplistic and different to me. So the core technical innovation, as you can see in this image, is its minimalist architecture, which effectively adapts a pre-trained image generation model, in this case, Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large for video. This is accomplished by simply replacing the original model's variational autoencoder, or VAE, or we call it just V, with a 3D uh, V and incorporating 3D positional encoding. This adaptation is enhanced by a multi-stage training strategy for efficiency and a cost-effective reinforcement learning framework with human feedback to improve video quality without requiring additional human annotated data. Together, these methods allow Content V to generate diverse, high-quality videos from text prompt. So pretty interesting, I would say. Let's check how our prerequisites are doing. And everything is installed. Let's also add this path to our local library. And now you can simply run the demo uh, after git cloning the repo. So you can see that I have just git cloned it. Afterwards, all I need to do is to run this demo.py from the root of the repo. The first time when you run it, it is going to download the models. So let's wait for these to get downloaded. You can see the size on your screen.
After downloading the models, now it is generating the video. While it does that, let me show you the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming just over 31 gig of VRAM, which is actually quite good given uh, the previous video generation models, which consume a lot of VRAM. Some, and the average is around over 60 GB of VRAM. So this is like half of what we have seen so far, but we will also check out the video quality. Now, this is already using that demo.py script. Let me take you to my VS code and show you that script to show you what exactly uh, it is doing. So this is my VS code. All it is doing, it is importing the libraries which we have installed. And then it is using this model, which we it already downloaded as we saw. It has put it on to our CUDA device. And this is a prompt which we have given it that a young musician sits on a rustic wooden stool in a cozy dimly lit room strumming an acoustic guitar with a worn sunburst finish and then also some of the negative prompt which we don't want in our video these are the number of frames and this is a video which will be generated so let's wait to see how exactly it goes i'm just checking the vram consumption it is staying at the same so that is a max which is good let's also see how long does it take seems like it is taking around six minutes anyway we'll wait okay so it has generated the video it took almost seven minutes as you can see it is present on my local system in the root of the repo let's run this Okay, so you see, we don't see the face of the man, we just see, no, we do see it just towards the end. But I think the quality is quite good, seems like a wooden stool, and then it has done its own creativity, the hands are quite fine, I don't see any malformation, maybe you see the fingers of that left hand are not perfectly well, I would say. But still, I mean, I think, uh, it has come a long way, no doubt about that. Okay, good stuff. Okay, let's try out one more. Okay, so in the next example, I'm asking it to generate me a video of cinematic drone shot flying over a majestic snow-covered mountain range at sunrise. The golden light hits the peaks, casting long, dramatic shadows into the valleys below. A lone eagle soars gracefully through the frame. 4K, hyper-detailed, epic, and awe inspiring so i'm just trying to check that um, if it understands and create coherent motion like in drone shot and soaring eagle if it could handle complex lighting and shadows around you know golden light and, and that sort of stuff and then also generate a detailed landscape so i already started running it so you can see that the pipeline is running it is again going to take six to seven minutes so let's wait and the video is now generated. Let me play it for you. And here is the video. Let me make it bigger. Let's see how exactly it looks on the big screen. Yep, snow capped mountains. The eagle is, is it soaring? It does, it's not really soaring, I would say. It just passes through. So there is eagle. The mountains look fine, but I don't it's not as vivid as I would like, but still, I think uh, not bad at all in that time frame. The shadows are there, which is correct. The sunlight is there morning. It seems like a morning light. The shadows are all correct. Uh, physics is okay. Eagle could be improved and the video could be more vivid and clear. But I think all in all, pretty good for the VRAM consumption footprint plus the size and all that stuff. But let me know what do you think. Uh, of course, um, you are the best judge. If you like the content, please like the video. Just click on that like button and share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.